And then I got this fruit pastry. Hello beautiful people and welcome to another vlog. Today I'm going to have a day just by myself in Seoul. I just dropped my sister off because she's going to Lotte World with her friend. But yeah, I think today I'm just going to explore by myself. That's kind of what I did last year so I kind of missed it as well. I first came to this cafe called Cafe Onion. One of you guys recommended for me to come here. So yeah, I came to Songsu and it's my first time here. I just got an iced Americano and then this Ang Boto bread. It's like a salt bread that's really popular and then I got this fruit pastry this is the view I'm kind of by myself because I came pretty early there's also a seating place downstairs but I kind of just wanted to check out upstairs okay guys I actually moved to where there's like some kind of covering because it's kind of hot today also it's kind of loud because there's like a subway right there <laughs> great background noise I literally only drink Americanos in Korea because first of all I go to too many cafes to order lattes all the time and also something about like the sweet desserts goes so well with the drink Okay, I'm gonna try the ang bata first Ta -da! Basically has like this red bean and then salt bread and literally slice of butter Angbata is really popular in Korea apparently and the salt bread is really popular here too Okay, I'm gonna try it Mmm There's an actual slab of butter in here It's pretty good though It works really well with the bread and the red bean It's so peaceful here, guys. There's like birds chirping too. Whoa. Okay, let's try the other strawberry pastry. Mm. So good. The pastry is like crispy on the outside, but soft on the inside. And the cream is not too sweet. Mm. I get why this cafe is popular. You guys, I think they make the bread right here and send it down this like elevator thing. And then it just goes down into the bakery. Hey guys, I came out of the cafe and I too got the rest of my bread. I'm just walking around Songsudong and I think I'm just gonna try to visit some other cafes and maybe like stationery stores. It's kind of interesting walking around alone because I feel like I'm always with someone. But yeah, I'm gonna just walk around and see what they have. This place is so cute guys. All the stores here are so cute. So I'm stopping by this other cafe. It's called Harabaji Gongjang.
I'm up here at the terrace area on the second floor. There's literally a tree house right there. I don't know what that's for, but it's really cool. I got this subak juice, watermelon juice, because I just had coffee already. And yeah, I'm just gonna drink this and chill here. The weather is so nice today, but it's so hot here. So this is perfect. Mm. Tastes really fresh. a real watermelon on top I want to try going inside the tree house thing It's kind of scary. It's so tiny, but there's just tables here. And then a little... Whoa, this is so cool. If you open the door. Whoa. Whoa, it's kind of scary. Whoa. <laughs> I feel like a little dwarf in here. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna reply to your guys' comments on my first Korea video. Thank you for all of your comments, guys. I'm gonna reply to them right now. Hello. There's like a tree house. The weather is so nice today. <laughs> <laughs> Hi friends, I am going to Duksom now to go to this restaurant because I'm so hungry and then after I think I'm just gonna go to the Seoul Forest and see if it's open. So many cute places here guys. I wanna cry. What is this? It's calling me. It's calling me.
지금 팔업스토어 진행하고 있고요. 여기 보시면 실제로 저희 회사 사원들이 일하고 있는 팀들에서 하고 있는 실제 모습들을 확인드립니다. 어, 아실만한 것은 카카오나 메일력 등 너무 많은 제품들이 있어요. 아, I think I made it to Seoul Soup. It's so nice here. Literally so much nature and trees and like people sitting down and eating. This is so pretty. There's like a road you can walk on. There's just people on the tables, like even picnicking right there. You guys, it's so freaking nice. What the heck? How did I not know this place existed? Okay guys, I just sat down in this nice little cozy log area. This place is so beautiful. I can't believe I didn't know it existed. The one downside is there's so many bugs here, but it's okay. It's perfect for a little nice solo peaceful date. I am going to eat a little snack here before I eat dinner. So I was just walking around and then I went to this one shop called Bear Better. And this was like a pop-up shop celebrating their 10-year anniversary But this place is actually a service that helped disabled people to get jobs And I thought that was super cool They allowed you to do a raffle and pick something like a prize for their 10-year And I picked this coffee, this cold brew This is the Knotted Ethiopia Cold Brew If you guys saw my other Korea vlog, I went to Knotted It's like a really popular cafe here But yeah, I bought a little goodie right there Packaging is so cute too Ta-da! I got this cookie and they said it was their favorite one. I'm kind of like really hungry so I think this is gonna be super good. Ah, this is what it looks like. It looks like a face almost. Mmm, so good. This place is actually really popular these days because the Seoul Forest obviously is really nice and around here there's a lot of cafes and restaurants. I'm actually coming back here tomorrow with my friend so I think I'll be able to explore a little bit more. But let's try the cold brew. So cute. Mmm. Goes so well with the cookie. Can't believe I'm having two black coffees in a day. Who is she? Who has she become? I also stopped by and got my mom a little lotion from this place. This place was actually really cool too. It's basically about sustainability and they also had like really cool plants that they sold and stuff like that. A lot of these are like really good for the environment or for people which I think is really cool. I'm trying to get one of these rings for my sister because she's been really liking these silver rings. These are so cute. Thank you. 
You guys, I don't know what this is, but it's a random mirror. But I got the little ring for my sister, and I'm gonna go eat now. I think I'm gonna try out this restaurant called Nanpo. They just have like traditional Korean foods. That place was closed, so I came to this other restaurant called Hoho Shikdang. You guys, that place was closed too. Korea has literally the most random break times. It's 4 p.m. right now, but apparently they're opening at 5 p.m., both of them. So I don't know if I should just stall here or if I should just go home. Eh. I finally found a place that's open, guys. Whoa, this looks so good. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm so hungry, as you can tell. Whoa, they have a lot of stuff here. What do I get, guys? Yeah, I'm gonna get this one, guys. You guys don't understand how happy I was when this place was open. You guys, this looks so good. I'm so excited. We have some side dishes and some soup. You guys, that was actually so good. There wasn't a lot of people. I literally just finished eating and it's 4.40 p.m. So yeah, just be aware that a lot of the places have break times until like 5 p.m. But yeah, that was such a good meal and I think I'm gonna head home now. I just got back home. Today was such a fun day exploring Seongsu and just being in Seoul by myself. Easier than I thought it would be. I thought it would be super hard to just eat alone and like explore alone. But yeah, it shouldn't be taboo to take yourself out on a little date and it's actually pretty healing. Like the Seoul forest was so nice going to different cafes and seeing different like stationery and cute things. Obviously you guys know I love that. I hope it served as a little reminder for you guys as well to take care of yourself and have some self-care days as well but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed going on a little date with me in seoul i will see you guys in my next video make sure to follow my instagram by grace as well as subscribe to join the beautiful fam and i will see you guys in my next korea video bye